We serve a good God. I encourage you to present your request to Him as we pray. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a very powerful prayer of deliverance. Join me in prayer right now if you believe in the mighty power of God. Take possession of this miracle as I bring forth a very powerful prayer for the saint of impossible and urgent causes, Saint Jude Thaddeus. To attract money and divine fortune through the divine intercession of Saint Jude Thaddeus, we will ask for good luck in lottery or betting games. Many people have experienced quick and positive results with this prayer. The secret lies in praying with great faith and believing in spirituality, so that you may achieve the desired outcome. Keep the faith, trust in His divine power, and know that you are being blessed with the abundance of the lottery, possibly becoming the next millionaire in your family. Miraculous Prayer to St. Jude Eternal and compassionate God, in this sacred moment of communion, I come before you, humbled and seeking solace in the divine presence of St. Jude Thaddeus, the patron of desperate cases and the defender of those in financial turmoil. Your divine servant, St. Jude, has always been a beacon of hope for the downtrodden, extending a helping hand to the less fortunate and those grappling with the heavy burden of financial hardship. As I stand amidst the trials and tribulations of my own financial struggles, I beseech you, O Lord, to grace me with the unwavering support and spiritual guidance of St. Jude Thaddeus. St. Jude Thaddeus, unwavering guardian of finances and steadfast protector in times of distress, I implore your powerful intercession in my life. In the midst of this storm of economic uncertainty, I turn to you, seeking your divine favor and benevolence. Shower upon me, I pray, the blessings of prosperity, abundance, and financial security. Illuminate the path before me with the radiance of your divine light, guiding me towards avenues of financial stability and success. Grant me the strength and resilience to weather the challenges that lie ahead, and empower me to emerge victorious in the face of adversity. O compassionate Apostle of God, entrusted with the sacred task of upholding divine promises, I entreat you to lend me your unwavering support as I navigate the treacherous waters of financial uncertainty. Bless my endeavors in betting games and lotteries, infusing each venture with the power of your divine grace. May every action I undertake be guided by your wisdom and blessed with success. Grant me the discernment to recognize opportunities as they arise, and the courage to seize them with unwavering faith and determination. Saint Jude Thaddeus, mighty protector and guardian of the destitute, I place my trust in your divine intervention, confident that my prayers will be heard and answered. Grant me the strength to overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of my financial well-being, and the wisdom to make sound decisions that will lead to prosperity and abundance. With heartfelt gratitude, I acknowledge the blessings that flow forth from your loving embrace, knowing that through your intercession, my financial life will be transformed, and my dreams will be realized. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a very powerful prayer of deliverance. Join me in prayer right now if you believe in the mighty power of God. You will clean all negative energy, envy, obstacles, blockages and stagnation in your life. This is a very powerful prayer by Padre Pio, to cleanse the negative energies that prevent the permanent flow of money and healing. Watch this video until the end and remember that God is life, truth, light, 
wisdom, love, and grace. Put everything in the hands of God. I invite you to cleanse, consecrate and protect your life now. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength, so that I will not stop along the way and for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches, I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus, I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for sending your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, to the world to save and set me free. I trust in your power and grace that sustain and restore me. Loving Father, touch me now with your healing hands, for I believe that your will is for me to be well in mind body, soul, and spirit. Cover me with the most precious blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Cast anything that should not be in me. Root out any unhealthy and abnormal cells. Open any blocked arteries or veins and rebuild and replenish any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection by the power of Jesus' precious blood. Let the fire of your healing love pass through my entire body to heal and make new any diseased areas so that my body will function the way you created it to function. Touch also my mind and my emotion, even the deepest recesses of my heart. Saturate my entire being with your presence, love, joy and peace and draw me ever closer to you every moment of my life. And Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit and empower me to do your works so that my life will bring glory and honor to your holy name. I ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name, standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. This is the simple prayer of Padre Pio who achieved great miracles. Although we may not have his great faith, we can imitate his prayers. If our faith is small, we can humbly ask for the intercession of the saints before God. When Padre Pio was asked to pray for someone, he used to say this prayer. It is the effective novena of the consecration to the Sacred Heart by St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. Try it out and pray with faith through the intercession of these great saints. O Sacred Heart of Jesus! To Thee I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring and glorifying Thee. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to Thee, and to do all for Thy love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease Thee. I take Thee, O Sacred Heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be Thou, O most merciful heart, my justification before God thy Father, and screen me from his anger which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in thee, O heart of love, I hope all from thine infinite goodness. Annihilate in me all that can displease or resist thee. Imprint thy pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget thee or be separated from thee. I beseech thee, through thine infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon thy heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory, to live and to die as one of thy devoted servants. Amen. Type Amen if you believe in this prayer. Miracles are going to happen very soon. Let's ask the Lord Jesus Christ to enter our hearts and bless our lives. I will be standing in faith with you as we pray together today. Opening Prayer Heavenly Father, I ask you to place a hedge of protection around me. It hides me from the enemy, familiar spirits, any and all demon spirits, making it difficult if not impossible for them to effectively track or trace me in the realm of the Spirit. There shall be no perforations or penetrations to these hedges of protection according to your word in Psalm 91. I know that you will answer this prayer because I love you and I trust in your name only. I pray that your blood Lord Jesus will cover me and all that you have given me. That the enemy will not have access to what has been given to me. Thank you for your divine protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 91 Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord, He alone is my refuge, my place of safety, He is my God, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home. For He will order His angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. 
You will trample upon lions and cobras, you will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer, I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Amen. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name, standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. O oh, blood and water, which flowed from the heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth immensely for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened throughout the world. O source of life, O infinite mercy, surround the whole world and take care of us. O blood and water that flowed from the most holy heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. O Jesus, you gave yourself to us with such amazing passion solely for love. Your Father's justice would have been atoned for with a single breath of yours and all your annihilations are acts of your mercy and your inconceivable love. When you were dying on the cross, at that moment you gave us your eternal life, having allowed opening your most sacred side you opened to us an inexhaustible source of your mercy, you offered us the most valuable thing you had, that is, the blood and water of your heart. Behold the omnipotence of your mercy, from it all grace flows to us. O oh Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I beg you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. Sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I beg you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, source of mercy from which rays of inconceivable graces spring forth over the entire human race. I beg you for light for poor sinners. O Jesus, remember your bitter passion and do not allow the souls redeemed with your most precious, most holy blood to be lost. O oh Jesus, when I consider the high price of your blood, I rejoice in its immensity because a single drop would have been enough to save all sinners. Oh, what joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your inconceivable goodness, O oh Jesus' own. I wish to bring all sinners to your feet so that they may glorify your mercy forever and ever. O oh Jesus stretched out on the cross, I beg you to grant me the grace to faithfully fulfill the most holy will of your Father in all things, always and everywhere. And when this will seems heavy and difficult to fulfill, it is then that I beg you, Jesus, that strength and strength flow over me from your wounds and that my lips constantly repeat, your will be done, Lord. O Savior of the world, lover of human salvation who, amidst terrible torments and pain, forgot yourself to think only of the salvation of souls. Most compassionate Jesus, grant me the grace to forget myself so that I can live totally for souls, helping you in the work of salvation, according to the most holy will of your Father. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life sprouted for souls in the sea of mercy opened for the whole world. O source of life, unfathomable mercy of God, embrace the whole world and pour yourself out on us. Amen. In this video, I want you to declare that it's your miracle day. 
This is a marvelous story of the power of the grateful heart. The young man's name was Lucian Hamilton Ting. He was born in Peoria, Illinois, which offered very little for the ambitions of this young man who dreamed big dreams and thought big and expansively. Lucien decided to go to Chicago and try his luck. He got a job as an office boy which barely paid him a living wage, after his room rent was paid, it left him exactly 50 cents, so dinner could not be more than 35 cents. He was very religious, he made it a constant habit to hold his 50 cent piece in his hand and say. God multiplies this and I give thanks. I am receiving more and more money every day. He would repeat this for about 10 minutes every morning before he spent the 50 cents. He began to attract many clever and successful men, and opportunities began to arrive his way which he was quick to take advantage of. Thank you, Father, was constantly on his lips. As the years passed many influential men began to ask his opinion and were guided by it. He seemed to be miraculously gifted, his mental acumen gradually increased. His sagacity in business was admired by other men and he was deeply trusted. He solved many business problems for them. His constant prayer was thank you, father, before and after every successful achievement. One day a wonderful idea came to him, which he related to a good friend who said it had tremendous potential. They formed a partnership and incorporated what was then called the General Gas and Electric Company. It grew by leaps and bounds with stations all over the eastern states, and after many years they sold it for a reported sum of $50 million. Having an attitude of gratitude can bring riches into your life no matter how poor you may be. I once heard being broke is a temporary situation. However, being poor is a conditioned state of mind. You can solve poverty, sickness, disease, and sadness with an attitude of gratitude. Type thank you father, if you believe miracles are coming. Watch this important message right now. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a very powerful prayer of deliverance. Join me in prayer right now if you believe in the mighty power of God. Today I am going to share with you a prayer that was obtained many years ago by a French priest and hermit. It is believed to grant miracles, blessings and good news to whoever pronounces it. The prayer is as follows. Father. I place myself into your hands. Father, I entrust myself to you. Father, I abandon myself to you. Father, do with me as pleases you. Whatever you do with me, I thank you. Thank you for everything. I am ready for everything, I accept everything. I thank you for everything so long as your will is done in me, my God. So long as your will is done in all your creatures, in all your children, in all whom your heart loves. I want nothing else, my God. Into your hands I commend my soul, I give it to you, my God, with all the love of my heart, because I love you, and because in my love I need to give myself, to place myself into your hands beyond all measure. I place myself into your hands with infinite trust because you are my father. I give you thanks because my affliction cannot be greater than your help, my sin greater than the power of Jesus, my Savior. There is no reason to be discouraged. I have God to help and save me. I give you thanks because in my affliction I am not forgotten. Your paternal eyes are on me, you count my tears, and your loving heart is ready to help me. I give you thanks. I am in your hands and you lift me out of the deep because you love me and will never abandon me. Heavenly Father, I am yours, through Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen.
Type Amen if you believe in miracles. Watch this important message right now. Let's ask the Lord Jesus Christ to enter our hearts and bless our lives. I will be standing in faith with you as we pray together today. The Lord is a miracle worker. When professed in faith, His Word has proven to produce miracles in our lives. Say the following prayer. You will receive unexpected money within 10 minutes. Secret Miracle Prayer Lord of all ocean and land, God of all universe, you are the creator of everything. With awe, we bask in the beauty and wonder of your presence. With humility, we bow our heads amidst your ultimate power above all living things. For all of these, we are thankful, and appreciative of life's essence. Money comes to me now, easily and effortlessly in your name. Your love and generosity know no bounds, they just keep coming. Sometimes, like fresh raindrops into our dreary and drab existence. We promise to live an honest and upright life, while working. Working for our bread and butter in a way that our lives would make sense. Grant that our sincere efforts will be rewarded with financial blessings. Grant that we know how to use these in proper ways with your acquiescence. Bequeath your divine wisdom that we can learn the noble trait of sharing. May our financial blessings be put to good use and not on frivolous ambivalence. We pray fervently that you grant our sincere appeal and bidding. Lord God, I pray that as I'm stepping out today, money will begin to answer me. I decree that as you have made man a leader, as you have destined man to be a ruler over everything that has been created, I pray that money will begin to answer me today in the name of Jesus. Type Amen and God will transform your life. Watch this important message right now. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.